Hello, Daryl at Makita here at UK Planet Tools. We're looking at the new 40 volt from XGT and the 18 and 36 volt LXT garden machinery in a cordless range. We're gonna look at some features and benefits and some demos of some of the tools. Makita does a great variety of cordless mowers. So this one is a 36 volt, which is two times 18 batteries. So it's the DLM 382. So the 38 is the size of the width of it. So it's 380 millimeters or 38 centimeters. Look at some of the features on it. Obviously you've got a system where you press a button and pull the, the lead. The arms can fold over when it's not in use. There is two handles on it so that it can be put and carried into say the back of a truck or back of a van or in the boot of a car. You've got the section at the front with a safety button which can be taken out so nobody can use it if you don't want anybody touching it. The batteries then slot in themselves. You have got a height capacity of 20 millimeters to 75 centimeters which is on the side here so that lifts the base up. It's a rotary blade on this machine. You have got a recommended coverage of 560 square meters, which is roughly off a runtime of two five amp batteries. In the box, you've got a grass collection rear bag, which slots on just like so. This one covers 40 liters. So this is the model DLM 382 mower from Makita. Makita hedge trimmers. So this is an 18 volt side handled version of our hedge trimmers. This is the DUH604S. So the S indicates that it's one-sided for scooping hedges and things like that. So just look at some of the features on this machine. The handle, as you can see, is like an L shape on the back. You've got a double trigger there and on the front handle, you've also got a trigger there. So this is a three stage lock to start. You pull the front trigger, you pull the back two triggers to start the machine. That's for safety. As soon as you let go of one of them, the machine stops. Also on the back, you've got three speeds to this machine. So you've got a low, a medium and a high, 2000 RPM, 3600 RPM and 5000 RPM. And you'll notice you've got a reverse. It's not to spin continuously in reverse. It's a very quick reverse in case you get anything jammed. The machine is brushless. So you're going to get roughly 30% more runtime out of this machine. You've got an electric brake. So as soon as you take your hands off, it stops and you've got a soft start. So as I say, a back handle and a front handle. One side is a plastic guard. The other side is the cutting blade. These are 23.5 millimeters. If you are wanting to cut with it, I'm right-handed. So I always use it that way. So you're cutting away from yourself, then all the excess cuttings are caught on that back end. This is a 60 centimeter long version, but we do do a 75. Uh, but you can buy it with batteries and a charger, or you can just have it as a body only. So it's the Makita 18 volt side handled hedge trimmer, the DUH604S. We're looking at cordless Makita chainsaws. So this is the 18 stroke 18 volt, 36 volt chainsaw. So this is the DUC355. Available as a body or you can order it in a variety of kits, including batteries. So we'll look at the machine itself. It's a brushless model. You're gonna get 30% more runtime out of this machine. It's got a 35 centimeter bar. So it's on par with 35 cc machine, but it runs slightly faster with being cordless. You've got no emissions. You've got no problems with it starting up and it's cold. If we start at the back, it's a double trigger to start it. You've actually got a start button. So when you put the batteries in, you press the button, it goes green. If you don't touch it for probably 10, 15 seconds, it'll turn itself off. The batteries slot in side by side. I'll show you what they look like when they're in. So one would slot on one side, one would slot on the other side like so. Yeah, so we'll take them back off while we describe it. You've also then got an indicator to show you how much charge you've got in each battery. It has an electric brake on it. So as soon as you take your finger off the trigger, it stops, but it also has a chainsaw brake, which is this lever on the front. So it's just like a traditional chainsaw. When it's like that, the chain is movable. When it's locked, the chain won't move at all. 
The handle is the same as a normal chainsaw. On the side, you've got an adjustment to get the tension of the chain a lot more stronger, and you've got an encapsulated nut. So if this came undone, when you've unslacking in it, you don't lose the nuts, it all stays together on the plate. You've got a chain catcher for safety underneath in case the chain ever snaps. We put it down, show you that the chain cover comes off. So if we turn it round, we've also got the lubrication oil for the chain. So it lubricates itself as it goes round. You have got a maximum output on this of 1,100 watt. Chain speed is up to 20 meters per second. It's got a pitch of three eighths and a gauge of 0.043. Weighs roughly four and a half to five and a half kilos. And we make it in Telford, so it's made in the UK. So the Makita cordless chainsaws, 18 plus 18 volt batteries, 36 volt. This model is the DUC355. This is the double 18 volt, 36 volt blower vac. It's the DUB363ZV. So you've got an extendable pipe for when you're blowing. It is a brushless model, which is gonna give you 30% more runtime out of your batteries. 65 meters per second velocity. The trigger itself is variable, so you can either run it on the trigger or you can run it on the throttle. If the throttle's on to full, it locks the trigger. So you don't have to keep your finger on the trigger. It's soft grip. To turn this blower into a vacuum, what we do is we unscrew the threaded screw rod. There's a mulching blade in there. It comes with a two piece pipe, which then would attach onto the front of there like so. You'd tighten the thread up. You would then undo this side pipe and then you would attach the curved one onto the side and then the leaf collection bag would fit on the end. So it then becomes a vacuum rather than a blower. The batteries fit on like so, so you would have to put two on there. It has to have both on to run. DUB 363 ZV, the Makita 36 volt vacuum blower. This is the Makita 40 volt XGT blower and the model number is UB001G. So let's have a look at some of the features and things you get with it. This is available as a body only. So if you've got some batteries, you can just buy the shell. But if you haven't, you can buy the full kit where you get two batteries, the fast charger and the adapter, which allows you to charge 18 volt batteries on it as well. The batteries themselves are 2.5s. Now they are the equivalent of five amp in the 18 volt LXT range. You've got indicator lights to tell you how much charge you've got in there and the battery slots on the back. To turn the machine on, you would press the button until it goes green and then it's ready. If you don't touch it, it will turn itself off, but we'll just turn it off anyway. So looking at the machine, You've got a soft grip there. You've got a variable trigger. So by pulling it zero to full, you've got naught to 20,000 RPM. So you've also got the option of a throttle, which you can push forward and have it running so you're not having to touch the trigger and it will stay on the speed or where you've got on the throttle. You've then got a booster on this machine. So by holding the trigger, the booster mode increases it to 23,000 RPM, which is a massive 143 miles per hour. So you're looking at 64 meters per second. In the standard 20,000, it's roughly 53 meters per second. So you've got a mixture of different outlets. You can attach, they just push on and then twist into place. That's one of them you get. And then the second one has got a smaller nozzle that would then attach on like so. And you have then got the option of putting different types of ends on it. So you can extend it to a round or you can have what we call a fishtail, which can force it downwards. So any blowing of leaves, this could be a great product for yourself. The UB001G Makita's 40 volt XGT blower. So the model we've got here is the UH004G. So it's a 40 volt XGT model. You can buy it as a body only, or you can buy it as a full kit where you get the charger and the two batteries and the adapter. You've got a back handle that can rotate. So to rotate, you press the levers. It allows us to turn it so that if we're doing the side of a hedge or anything like that, we can make it more comfortable for ourselves. And then it would lock in the straight in the center position. You've got three speeds on this machine. You've got 
and low, a medium and a high. 2,000, 3,600 and 5,000 of the speeds. And then you've got a reverse, which is a very fast reverse. It's more to just un unhook in case you've jammed yourself. To start the machine, you have to lock the back two triggers and then you've got to pull the front D. It's brushless machine, so you're gonna get roughly 30% more run out of these with the batteries in. You have got an electric brake on the back, so as soon as you take your finger off, it stops. And it's got a soft start, so it don't kick straight in at 100 mile an hour. You've got a guard there for your hand. The blade itself, you can get in different lengths. This is the 60 centimeter length, 600, or the 75, which is the 750. It's a curved trimming blade. So it's very good at shaping lots of trees and edges and things like that. You can get roughly 23.5 centimeter branch in there. Comes with a cover, so can buy it as a body only, or you can buy it with batteries. It's the Makita hedge trimmer, 40 volt, XGT, UH, 004, G. The model we're gonna look at here is the Makita UR 003G, which is the 40 volt XGT brushless line trimmer. We have got lots of great features on this machine. You can buy it as a body only, or you can buy it including the batteries and the charger. The battery itself just slots on the very end like so. So, and it's got a protection bar around it. As we move down the machine itself, we've got a double trigger on there. So you can't just pull it on without pushing the top trigger. So it's a safety switch. If we turn it over and have a look at the controls, we've got three speeds on this machine. It'll do 3,500, 5,300, and 6,500 RPM. We've also got a reverse in case you get anything snagged in there, so it's a very quick release. And we've got an assist mode on this one. So the assist mode is great because you might see on the top on the speed ins, you can put a metal blade on with it being a straight shaft, or you can carry on with the line. So depending on under load, it will change the speed in the assist mode. As we move down, we've got a soft grip and these, the capability to use a harness, which is included. It's a D-shape handle, so it's great for going around tree stumps and things like that. Straight shaft down to the base. It's a brushless motor there, so we're gonna get roughly 30% more run out of this when we put a battery into it. The guard itself has got an extension on the base, so when it's set up for the lines, you can use it with the full guard on. When you wanna put the metal blade on there, you would have to take the bottom of the guard away. It's a bump start, so you can go around and tap it to increase its pull out of its cable. So this is the UR003G 40 volt XGT line trimmer. So lots of demos and features and benefits of the cordless garden machinery. We've got lots of offers here at UK Planet Tools. If you wanna like and subscribe, have a look what we've got on offer. Thanks for watching, Daryl from Makita at UK Planet Tools.